button. Let's see. I think we are live now, Sam, hopefully. Yay. If you are here watching us, guys, I'm here again today. This is my second Rich Tog chat of the day. This morning I was chatting to the amazing Kirsten. Now I have the wonderful Sam in front of me. And what's nice about today's Rich Tog chats, actually, is Kirsten came on board uh, into my world, into my circle two years ago. And you and I are relatively new to each other. But I'm, I'm really thrilled you've spent your sparing some time because I know how busy you are. Um, I'm just going to pick your brains and share your success stories, if that's all right, Sam, because I want to inspire other photographers. Is that all right? Of course, of course. Thank you for having me. Oh, no, it's lovely to chat to you. So <laughs> if you are watching live today, guys, drop us a hashtag live in the comments. If you are watching on replay, drop us a hashtag replay. I've got half a coffee with me. I've got my cup and I've got my water. Sam and I were just talking about trying to be healthy and uh, updo, uh, upgrade our water intake, but it just means you've got to go to the loo even more and it's palava. <laughs> hey, Annie, how are you doing? Hey, hey, Claire, how are you doing? How's things? So let's start picking your brains, Sam. Um, and if you do hear a cat crying in the background, I'm sorry, it's all Frank somewhere or other. Um, but I wanted to reminisce. I mean, we're quite relatively new to each other. We met each other back in February, so only a few months ago, uh, when you came on board one of my free five-day events. So let's reminisce and think back to when you came into that free event for photographers where were you in business then? You know, what sort of business were you running before we met? What sort of money were you were making before we met? And then what your experience of being in the challenge was? Tell us about that, Sam. Oh, I was in no man's land. I was absolutely, <laughs> literally, I'd been bought a camera for my birthday in December. And I chucked on Facebook, people, I've got a little local group and said, does anyone want a free shoot? Um, I had my arm chewed off so I thought okay cool like I'm into photography let's let's just give it a whirl like I work part-time so I thought it's mm -hmm. worth sort of boosting up along the side and seeing how we go with it um, and then I came across you and your program and I thought okay that's interesting and it literally just set my head on fire I was like oh my god this could be really lucrative like not only am I loving doing the photography part this could be really really lucrative so I've gone from literally never running a business never owning a camera, never having done photography to literally run in a fully profitable business in what, six months. I love that. And it all started with the challenge. When did you, when did you, you came on board the challenge in February. Yep. So tell me about how you felt through the challenge. You came on board, you, that was the first time you'd met me. Obviously it was a free training event for photographers. You're brand, you were brand new to photography as you, you just told us. So how did it feel through the event? Oh my God, it was amazing. I remember having a, the first morning I watched it and I was hook, line and sinker. I went out to Smith's, got myself a new notebook, a new pen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, I was watching the morning ones slightly later but I was always there with my wine for the eight <laughs> months every day <laughs> the lives with wine are always oh, my favorite <laughs> um and my literally I was so many notes so many notes and I just couldn't get enough of it I was like this is so so effective and I kind of a, why didn't I think about it like that and it was just I was so inspired genuinely so inspired that I was like oh my god I have to know more I was literally like you kind of set up a fire and I was off I went it was amazing yeah. absolutely amazing oh I'm so thrilled to hear that because I love I love running these events I obviously talk a lot about brand photography that is the main core of the event I'm sharing with you business and marketing strategies that you can take and use in your other genres but as you know, I'm so passionate about brand photography as a genre for us photographers because it does give high levels of profit. It's business clients that invest with ease. It frees up our weekends and our evenings. And myself, having worked in the other genres, I just feel brand photography has revolutionized my business. So I was so buzzing you got that feeling in the challenge. So the same. I always, the one thing I said I didn't want to do was wedding photography on the basis of it's a massive drain on your time. It's a huge pressure because obviously it's one day and if you get it wrong, you get it wrong. But like 
when the brand photography came into it, I was like, this is absolutely genius. And not only that, it's you get to work with someone quite closely for a number of weeks. And then on the day, by the time I meet my clients for a brand shoot, I feel like I'm their friend. I feel like we've known each other for ages. I know so much about them as a person, about them professionally, what they're looking for, their style, their vibe. And it's so nice. It's absolutely wonderful. I love it so much. It's just so much more than, you know, like a 45 minute family shoot or a hour-long newborn shoot how you know however you work your time and it's just you just get such a lovely close connection with these people which again longevity wise you know they're going to come back to you because that relationship is like solid yes you've found your client you've created an amazing bank of marketing images for them brand images for them and you've created that connection and that amazing experience so you then have a regular client coming back all the time yeah so reminiscing again through the challenge obviously at the end of the the challenge the five-day training event i opened the doors to the business of brand photography the paid program so what made you want to come on board what was it and, and what were your fears and worries about coming on board talk us through that oh my god i had i was like i was in there was i didn't need to be convinced i booked a zoom call with you <laughs> I was like, well, let's, you know, let's just follow the, let's not look too keen, you know, let's just look like I'm considering it. Let's quiz her a bit. Yeah. But I was literally like, by the end of the course, I was, it was almost like I could just scratch the surface and I needed, I needed to know more. And it's just you, Jill, your zest for it, your passion for it. Like it just rubs off. Like your energy is absolutely infectious. And I found myself being like feeling that same way about it thinking oh my god I want to do what she does I want to make people feel how she makes me feel because it's just the best feeling and it was like it was an absolute no-brainer from day one I thought okay this is going to cost me some money here but it's the <laughs> best investment I have ever made hands down like for the first time in I would say 10 years I'm not in my overdraft I've booked an amazing holiday for my family it's genuinely it's quite emotional because you think I've I've kind of been working part time for the last couple of years like because I've had my daughter and my husband carries the load and he's absolutely fantastic but I do sometimes I think oh god he's going to drop dead at 35 heart attack because he's just working so hard to make you know we live a lovely life but I wanted to give back a little bit and be like right you've you've literally you've sailed the ship for the last couple of years and I'm now wanting to give not that he needs me to give back but you know what I mean it's just so nice to feel like I'm doing that yeah, and you're doing it with skills you've got and a, a, doing a, a job that you absolutely love. Yeah. And that's such a lovely thing. You've gone from being in an overdraft to now running a profitable business. You're out your overdraft. You can treat the family to things like a holiday. That's amazing, Sam. Yeah, that it's amazing. Oh, <laughs> that makes me all giddy. It really, really does. <laughs> I was so joyful. I can usually see through the free events the people that are really getting it, really understanding it, and really having a zest for it, as you said. And I was so thrilled when you you chose to come on board. And I understand it is an investment. But I do, I pour my heart and soul into everything I do because I take it really seriously when someone chooses to invest in me. So I run the free event. And then if at the end of it, someone chooses to invest in me and my program, I take that really seriously. And I want to make sure I give them value for money and I give them back everything they need. I give them what they need to have a profitable, successful business. And you are. And then, some, and then some, like it's just within, I think it was within four weeks of starting the program, I'd made my money back. Yeah my god it was a no brainer it was honestly like an absolute no brainer it's the best thing i could have done both professionally and personally as well because i just feel like i've like come into my own like we were saying before we came on live you know my parents are saying oh you've just found your calling like you just so you love what you're doing and i genuinely do i absolutely love it the excitement that you get from it it's just amazing because you're given the tools, you know, from doing the challenge that we did with you and then obviously booking onto the course. It's just I've got every everything that I need. If there's ever something I'm like, oh, God, guaranteed that it's in there anyway. Like, I know it will be in the course. Oh, that's so lovely to hear because when I built the programme, I made sure I did it step by step. Everything I do in my photography business to to get clients to market correctly, to price myself, everything, the customer service, everything that I do in my brand photography business is in that program. And I made it really easy to follow. So I'm so thrilled that 
you know, you've got that value. And, and to hear that you made the money back so quickly within the, the first few weeks of, of coming on board. And so tell us about your successes, because as I've said, you only came on board in February and we were just talking about the shoots you've had. So you've made 3,600 quid out of brand shoots since coming on board and you've got more inquiries and leads in, in the pipeline. Yes, I've got a, my June pipeline is for the a number of inquiries that I've got. If I were to convert them, I would be in for 3,600 for June, yeah, which is true. crazy money for me, like crazy money. But that's just such a, a joy to hear because from someone who's just starting off, it shows that you already had your photography skills. If someone like yourself invests in their business and marketing skills, then it's completely possible to build a successful, profitable business. It's just nailing your business and your marketing. And I'm so thrilled that the programs helped you do that. And um, you said so it's helped you in your confidence and getting yourself out there as well. Oh, definitely. Like when you're speaking to people, you know, you think, no, do you know what? The more you do, the, the almost it's like an addictive thing, isn't it? Like the more you do, the more you want to do and the better it gets because you kind of you're getting the experience under your belt and you're understanding it. And you just it just becomes more fluent. Like each time I do it, it's a lot more. The whole process is fluent. I feel like I'm, you know, jumping on a call and I'm not there like with my notes. Like, OK, like this is what I need to say. You kind of fall into your own style. You adapt all the stuff that you've given us. And it's just like, you're like, here you go, here here it is. And you kind of think, oh my God, like the, the chat you were having this morning as well was very much like, you know, you don't keep anything back. You share everything with us because you want us to be successful. Like you can tell that that's genuinely like a passion of yours to make us successful. And that's literally what's happened. Like it just, it blows my mind, it blows my mind. Oh, I'm so honestly, so thrilled for your journey. You should be so, so buzzing with yourself. It's fabulous. I love so it. To inspire, I mean, you are solely inspiring to other photographers to know that you only started in February, you came on board the free event, then you decided to invest in the programme and you're now charging 895 for a midweek three hour shoot which is ace, you're looking like you've got a target of over three grand for, for June, looking like that's possible, so that's brilliant. Yeah. So what tips or advice would you give to other photographers out there? I think confidence in, in the prices is, is the first thing because I did a couple of half price ones to start with um, and both of them said to me, you are far too cheap, like you should be charging so much more for what you're doing and I was just like, yeah, give it time. And then after that, I was like, you've got me on your back going, put those prices on. <laughs> and it did. Like, and now people don't bat an eyelid. And if they if they were to bat an eyelid, you kind of think, well, they wouldn't have been my ideal client anyway, because you know, it's a premium service and what goes in, you know, the the effort levels that go into it, you know, I'm I'm fully confident when I when I give that price, I'm like, you this is worth it. I can promise you I'm confident that I'm gonna deliver something that they feel is valuable. So that would 100% be my first thing to say is just be confident in the prices. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jump out the worth definitely. Oh my it. god, so much so value your time, you know, value what your your skill set is, you know, that kind of stuff. So 100% is confidence is like the first one for me. Um, and the second one would kind of link quite well into it is just jump out of your comfort zone. So like you know the challenges that you've set us like going live every day. I was my knees were clacking the first time I did it, whereas now. I've actually convinced myself that I'm confident. So I'm chatting away. Like it feels like absolutely no. And it's just getting out of your comfort zone. So much good comes from that. You know, like I'm doing a networking event. I'm guest speaker at a network event. Stuff like that is not where I'm comfortable. But doing it has brought me so much in terms of my personal confidence, in terms of professionally and financially. Jump out of the comfort zone. Like, don't sit there and go, I can't do a live because you blooming well can do a live. If I can do it, anyone yeah. can do it. Feel the fear and do it anyway, definitely. Absolutely. And then the third one, it would like genuinely, it has to be do the challenge book on the course. Like, it's an absolute game changer for me. Not only was it a game changer, like professionally, but personally, it's changed my life. Like, it changed what I can do, what what sort of possibilities are for us as a family, where we can go, what we can do. There's just no, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't sit here and say like we're totally financially free at this point. But in terms of the goal, that's absolutely where it's going. There's no there's no limit to it. And I just love it. So, And it would not have happened without doing the challenge first and then booking onto the course because it's just been a game changer. 
Oh, that's so nice to hear. So if there was a photographer at the end of the five day event next week, when I open the doors again, if there was a photographer considering the program, considering that investment, and I understand it is an investment in terms of time and energy, as well as in terms of your finance. So there's always a, a long consideration. You know, it's a considered uh, decision, isn't it? So what would you say to a photographer that was considering coming on board the program? Do not hesitate, just do it. Like, and if it's find find the money, even if you, you know, however you do it, it you will make it back. Like this, it's an absolute no brainer. Do it because it's just invaluable for what you'll learn for your business, personally, just the whole like from the whole spectrum is just it will change the game. Do it. Like just don't think about it, just do it. Oh, thanks, mate. Because it's so I hear that time and time again that people make the money back really quickly. And that is such a lovely thing to hear for me. That's what my, makes my heart sing. Because as I said, I take it seriously when people dedicate their time, their energy and invest in me. So I'm always there in the in the weeks of live training in the program, making sure, right, let's get these bookings in, let's get these clients in, let's get you out there, let's get that money coming back in. Because I really want to make sure you get that money flow back into your business and you're then on the way to becoming successful and profitable, just like you. Yeah, I love it. Honestly, it was the best decision I've made, like hands down. And it, and it is like the conversations you were having earlier is that you, you're you infectious, like your joy, your passion, the whole thing, it rubs off and you're like, oh, God, I want to be like that. I want to like, you know, invoke the same things in my clients, in the people around me in general. Like, you know, it's just, yeah, absolutely the best thing I've ever done. The best thing, genuinely, not even just saying it. I really do mean it. Oh, thanks, Al. And you're so right. We are... I love being infectious and helping you see what's possible. And it is completely possible. There's nothing special or magic about me. What I do in my business, what you have achieved in your business, we are all capable of that. And I love helping photographers see you are absolutely capable of earning good money from your photography skills in this genre. So I love inspiring other photographers to see that. Oh, you did. And, and your story as well. Like, you know, when you're sort of you're very open about your story and how you got where you are, you know, is kind of a very much anything is possible. Like this is where I've come from. This is what's happening for me. And it's like, oh, my God, why not me? Why not me too? You know, like that kind of feeling. I love that. I love that. So cheers to you. You did it and you're continuing <laughs> to do it. And thank you for sharing your story today, Sam. I really appreciate that. I'm so thrilled with all your successes. Here's to June, an amazing June. The clients that you're going to be helping, those amazing clients are lucky to have you and that money that's coming into your photography business. So thank oh, you. thank you. Thank you so much, honestly. It's down to you, seriously. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> you did the do. I helped you, showed you the way. You did the do. So we've been a dream team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my darling. Have a good day. Thank you for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to message. And I'm sure Sam wouldn't mind if you messaged her either, if you wanted to pick her brains about the experience she's had of being in the program, just message her or reach out to her. And I'm sure she wouldn't mind you picking her brains. But if you've got any questions, we are here for you. We want you to be rich togs, rich yeah. happiness in life and business. That's what we want. Perfect. Thank you so much. Loads of love. Have a good day, guys. Thank you, Sam. Yeah.